Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique and today I've got a serum tutorial for you. This one's going to be on how to make easy 808 bass. You heard it in the intro to this video, but this is what it sounds like. So it's very thick, it's very chunky, very fat, and it's really easy to do inside of serum. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Before I do that, I want to point out that this bass is actually from a pack that we released on Loop Masters for free. I'm gonna leave a link to this free pack in the video description. Not only is this bass I'm gonna about to show you how to make in that pack uh, a little bit of a different version, but there's also this lead as well. Links in the video description for everything if you wanna check it out. So let's just go ahead and initialize the patch. All right, so the first thing we need to do is find our waveform. I'm gonna be using the analog BD sine wave. You could drop it down an octave. And if you want to tweak the wavetable position a little bit, just to give it a little bit of a different style than a really smooth sine wave, you know, that will change up the character of the sound. Give you something a little bit more grittier, I think, or at least a little bit more noticeable. Then I'm going to jump over here to the filter, pull the cutoff down. I'm actually going to be modulating that filter with the envelope too. So I'm just going to click and drag and drop it. I'm going to pull down like this. And instead of using a mix knob, I'm going to use a level knob. And to change between those two, you just got to click right where it says that, pull the level down, and then I'm going to boost the drive up. So the idea here is to have a boost above the kind of the zero crossing here for the lower end and then roll off all that high end. All right, so now let's just change up this filter or this envelope rather. I wanna bring the sustain all the way down. I'm gonna boost up the release time, boost up the decay to right around like 1.8. And then I wanna bring up the attack here to about two milliseconds. So then I'm gonna jump into the mod matrix here. You see that we already got envelope two here sent to, sent to the filter cutoff. That's exactly what we're looking for. And then what I want to do is take envelope three, and we can do it right from this matrix, and come down here to global tuning, and then come into envelope three, and we want to make it very, very short. So again, I'm going to take the sustain and bring it all the way down and bring the decay down to like, I don't know, sometimes super short. And then all we need to do is adjust the amount here. You hear how you have that little bit of attack transient? That's all we're looking to do there. Uh, pretty sweet. And I mean, that's really all there is to it. We can jump into the effects and add some distortion and some of this hyper dimension effect. Let's take this distortion and put it on a high pass. Let's really just crank up the distortion and the higher frequencies that are that might be left over. So that sounds pretty good. Uh, for this hyper one, so that's adding a little bit of character there. I'm actually going to leave it off for now. Let's just put on a filter here at the end. low 12 pull up the drive so if you really want to get something distorted and crazy you know that drive knobs there for you and that's pretty much it if we go ahead and run that with the track now Like I said, easy 808s inside of Serum. So that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you. Uh, if you want the original patch that inspired this tutorial, definitely go ahead and click the link in the video description to check it out. In fact, links to everything I've discussed in this video in the video description. 
I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.